hello everyone welcome back to my channel i'm not adorable i welcome you to living healthy with not adorable if you are new on this channel i welcome you to living healthy with not adorable and to my whole subscribers i welcome you back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you how i make my date syrup date syrup i use it for sweetener we all use it for sweetener to sweeten our drink our food so that is what i'm going to be showing you today keep watching and make sure you watch till the end of this video if you are yet to subscribe to my channel it is the high time for you to subscribe to my channel click on your notification bell and like this video Now it's time to start making a date syrup. As you can see, this is the date seed. I have soaked it overnight. You can soak it for two, uh, for four hours before you use, or you soak it overnight before you start processing. You make sure you wash it thoroughly, wash your date thoroughly. Then you soak for four hours before you start processing, or you soak it overnight. So now I'm going to be removing the seeds. I'm going to be removing the seeds from the date. As you can see the seed. So I'll remove all the seeds and then we continue our processing. Now we have been able to remove all the seeds. We are going to measure the date. This is a cup. Then we are going to put on the fire a saucepan. You had uh, the dates. So we are going to measure her water. This date is one cup. So we are going to measure two cups of water. If you have two cups of dates, you are going to measure four cups of water. So in, um, you multiply your um, quantity of dates by two to get your water quantity. So we are going to allow this to boil. Presently is on a high high heat. So when it starts boiling, we are going to reduce the the heat to a low heat. Then it continues to boil for fifteen minutes. When you notice this whitish foamy substance at the top, you use your spoon to scrape it out. Scrape everything out. Then you continue boiling you boil till 15 for up to 50 at least let me say at least 15 minutes
after boiling for like up to 10 minutes then you use your spoon you use the back of your spoon especially a wooden spoon you use the back to start matching it you match it match the date very well then make sure you match everything The next thing to do is to strain it out. We are going to strain all the liquid that is present in this mixture. We are going to strain everything out with a strainer. If you have a mesh cloth, you can use that. But this is what I am going to be using in this video. So I am going to use my strainer to strain this um, the, the liquid content from this mixture. If you have been watching my video, you should be used to this strainer. <laughs> As that now, you should be used to this strainer. It's all I use in making my juice recipe, my tiger nut drink, almost everything. <laughs> so, if you observe, if you observe that you still have some content present in the in your um, date shaft after extracting the liquid. You can add more water to it to bring everything out. You know, we have to avoid wastage. So after straining and you still observe there is still there are still some contents of the syrup in the date shaft. Add more water. Add more water and strain. You press it. If you're using a mesh cloth, you make sure you allow it to cool before you pour. In your mesh clothing you also put it on a strainer and then you use your hand to press use your hand to squeeze out the liquid content and then yeah i'm going to add more water because i observe there are still more contents present in the shaft so i would i am adding more water I'm adding more water to make sure i extract everything from the shaft thing to do is to transfer our hair strut we're going to transfer it back to the fire we're going to boil it presently is on high heat but when it starts boiling kindly reduce the heat to a low heat reduce it to low heat and let it continue to boil let it continue to boil after you do you Make it to boil for 20 minutes. As it boils, you will start seeing the changes. It will be getting thicker. It will be getting, you know, the color will be getting darker. And gradually, you will be getting your syrup. Then when you boil the, at this stage, when you eventually get your desired, um, consistency of the syrup you can stop boiling but at least this process will 
take you at least 20 minutes or even more depending on how you want your syrup to be thick so it's boiling and that is what we're going to see in the next few minutes how we achieve a paste a syrup a date syrup At this stage, make sure you continue to stir, you stir it repeatedly to avoid it from, to prevent it from um, burning. Make sure you stir time without number, stir, stir, stir. It's now time to enjoy our date syrup with a pop. You know, this tasted so nice. It was so nice, so yummy. I added just little, just little quantity of that date syrup. And you know what? It was okay. So instead of you building your baby system with lots of refined sugar, please learn how to do this. And I believe after watching this video, you will not give your children sugar again, but instead give them date syrup. Make use of this date syrup to sweeten their food, to sweeten their, um, their pap, their custard. They will love it and enjoy it. And you know what? Date is an antioxidant. It is good for health, uh, for brain health. So this will even help your baby's brain, you know? <laughs> So, this is very good for the body. It boosts the immune system. It is very rich in other nutrients. You can find it ev almost everywhere. Uh, outside people, they sell it. They sell dates. You can find it and make good use of it. Thank you for watching this video. If you are yet to subscribe to my channel, Please, it's time for you to do that because we have lots more coming. Lots more. We have we still have a lot of recipes. In my last video, I made a recipe on the smoothie, the juice recipe, the recipes for lowering your blood pressure. And that was the first episode. So more episodes will be coming in soon. As you can see, uh, date syrup. 
thank you for watching this video once again if you have really watched till this time i'm giving you a thumb up and please do not forget to give this video a thumb up please like share subscribe and turn on your notification bell till i see you in my next video live healthy and stay safe